guys this is Pavel from awesome presentations in this video I will show you how to do a paintbrush uh, effect uh, without using any third-party applications no Photoshop no whatsoever everything gonna be within PowerPoint the only, <clears throat> the only thing you need to do is you need to before you're gonna start you need to navigate to um, a page where you can find a certain font which is Road Rage. That shouldn't take you more than five minutes. So once you're going to have that font, type capital I and make it much bigger size, let's say above 200. So this is basically the shape we can play around. The issue with it is that um, you cannot uh, you, you cannot format it as an object. It's still a font. So we're going to try to make it an object. To do that, let's insert another shape. Let's insert rectangular. Let's put it backwards so that we can see our font. So then. Let's just keep in mind the order first, highlight the rectangular, then highlight the font, go to the format, merge shapes, and choose intersect. There's one more thing you need to keep in mind. You don't want to have any outlines on your object, especially on the rectangular. Cool. So now, we made ourselves an, an object, an object, not a font anymore. And we can play around with it. You can, you can make it more narrow. You can make it more wide. You can make it bigger. So that's very convenient. Uh, I'm not going to spend too much time on uh, playing around with the sizes and playing around with the uh, shapes, but Anyone, you know, you can spend as much time as you can, and I'm sure your effect is going to be just outstanding. So let me just put a couple of those shapes together on my picture. Now, I'm going to highlight all of them and merge them together. Now I'm going to make them slightly smaller. And I'm going to use the technique of putting the picture um, beneath the shape as opposed to pasting the picture inside of the shape. So I think that's um, that the outcome is much, much cleaner and much nicer, although it's a little bit um, more work to do. So I'm going to insert another rectangular and put it in the back. We're going to make a uh, a hole inside by subtracting two objects. Of course, no outlines. Um, let's make it white color. And now let's just find a picture. Um, let's just drag it to to your Excel. I'm sorry, to your PowerPoint, of course. Let's put it in the far back. Crop it. Make change the color of our object to white. And I think we are getting there. So just let's make a quick annotation. Awesome. Presentations. And brush effect.
I hope you liked the video. Uh, if you like the idea, please leave the thumbs up. If you'd like to be up to date with more of the videos and more cool looking sites, please subscribe. See you next time.